Hi Scorpio, friends, family, and cross watchers. Welcome to Barefoot Mama Intuitive Reading. Um, it's November 30th, but this reading is timeless. Uh, we're just gonna jump right in. So I was feeling drawn to use the Lenormand deck today. Um, I feel like the Lenormand deck is kind of grounded. Um, there's always this like socialite bougie feeling to it, I guess. So I wanna kind of get grounded here. And then we've got the Mushroom Hunter's Tarot, which is to me the energy of like resurrection, which is very much associated with the Phoenix or the exalted um, scorpionic form. And the tarot kind of go from there. Spirit, please protect this reading. Send any negative energies back to sender. Transmuted tenfold. Thank you. Archangel Michael, please bring messages of truth and clarity to this reading for our Scorpio collective. Thank you. Amen. I'm being called to um, pray to Jesus as well. Jesus, please protect this reading with your energy of unconditional love. Thank you, amen. All right, so we have the garden path reversed. Um, the garden path is the card of like, <laughs> of like parties. You're going through this sort of gate, right? to a social gathering on the other side of this hill is the story behind this card, but it came out reversed. So you might be retreating again into hermit mode, um, especially with the holidays being where they're at. I'm also seeing this palm right here and this uh, like terrace surrounding it. It looks like pineapple. And somebody told me yesterday that pineapple is like like a, a word for swingers or something, um, which I didn't know. <laughs> but maybe you're retreating from being in some sort of dynamic that's like that. Um, interesting. Um, especially with 20 coming out here, the sort of number of partnership and then zero being new beginnings, right? Two and new beginnings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of spades. It might have been some sort of like infinite cycle you were in as well. Um, you might be 20 years old. Uh, your birthday might be October 20th. No, November 20th. Um, you might be 30 years old. We've got the lilies reverse. Um, I think this is the king of wands equivalent. Lilies are the energy of death, so there might be something about resurrection in your recent past. Um, you might be 30 years old, I think I said already. Your birthday might be October 30th. All of these are reversed. Queen of Hearts reversed, or the Stork reversed. Um, you might be a uh, November 17th birthday. I want to, I think, read this stork the queen of hearts reverse mild amiable female presenting person neutral change birth new ideas or transformation hmm yeah i don't know i'm getting i'm getting an energy of like a, a cycle that was keeping you stuck or in the present you might feel stuck King of Spades, Lilies Bloom on a Branch, Peace, Maturity, Elders, Retirement, Purity, Sex, Enemy, Rival, Dishonest, Lawyer, Neutral. Hmm. So you might be dealing with some, you might have been dealing with somebody who, like, you thought was presenting as, like, a friend, but they're an enemy. And then the garden, eight of spades, the fence lawn decorates this card with a path leading past the gate to the woods area in the distance. 
gathering, networking, society, party, public event, approaching illness, argument, neutral. Huh. So maybe you stayed clear of an event because, um, I'm getting, because you were like, maybe, um, maybe you were afraid of getting sick. Uh, a lot of people are sick right now with like COVID and RSV and stuff. Um, so maybe you're just avoiding like illness. Hmm. This is your 3D somehow. This page of wands wants to come out. Whoever this enemy person is, they gave you an idea that you want to pursue. They gave you some sort of inspiration, like their their um, presence in your life or their withdrawing of this like, these lilies, this resurrection somehow is like bringing you inspiration. Ooh. I have cups reversed, the lovers and the knight of pentacles. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so like, instead of focusing on love right now, you're focusing on your money. And this is this inspiration. You were maybe, um, the Knight of Cups is a love offer and that's reversed. So like, maybe there's a social gathering that you avoided going to, or maybe in general, you're just like not going out or like not really bothering with this. This is your choice right now, not bothering with a love connection and focusing instead on this Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, yeah, to clarify that on the bottom. Um, you're happy emotionally in your own sort of, um, I want to say like, the Nine of Cups isn't like a necessarily a luxurious energy, but he's this guy who enjoys like almost Taurian mouthy pleasures like drinking right there's all these cups behind him and feasting the story of this card is that this guy is feasted and he's gonna feast again so you might be in this like enjoyment of sensual pleasures and um physical like material things which i don't think is the norm necessarily for scorpio i think scorpios are usually more like into the taboo and like Defense against the dark arts, if you're all about that Harry Potter, right? But you're kind of getting more into your um, your opposite signs, like Taurus's sort of grounded energy here is what I'm seeing. Like, let's clarify this Page of Wands and then we'll move forward. Page of Wands... So this reversal of these um, Lenormand cards is making me think that you've poured rather a lot of your own energy into other people, other places, other situations in the past. And it's like you're recalling your energy. Page of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Huh. Is this Scorpio's energy? Queen of Wands. I usually read Queen of Wands as you, Scorpio, even if it's a fire sign. So it is. Like, you pouring into other people's sort of situations all the time has been leaving you feeling like this sort of lack, miserly mentality and you figured out something about maintaining your own stability in order to get from this page to the queen stage. It's like you, you would give of yourself to the point that you don't have, oh, king of wands reverse. You don't have a, um, a leg to stand on is what I'm hearing. And with this king of wands reverse and the lovers here, it could very well just be like love relationships. Like, you're finally just like, nah, <laughs> I'm, I'm focusing on my bag. Wheel of Fortune <clears throat> with the King and Queen of Wands. Um, this might have been a karmic couple. This King of Wands, um, we have the Tower and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So like, and then the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So like, this King of Wands situation could be like, 
you involving yourself in other people's situations to like boost them up into that queen of pentacles um, or it could be somebody you were actually dealing with who's like involved with the queen of pentacles um and either way this has been burdening your vital energy with that ten of wands that was there and by taking this sort of responsibility for your um stability with the four of pentacles here and by getting whatever this idea is that came to you um with the page of wands the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor um and you're closing out a cycle this was also it with the wheel of fortune here a karmic cycle that's finally coming to an end and it's like yeah you're just pouring into your own energy the star reversed maybe this doesn't feel like necessarily very good right now just had a bunch of stuff come out um yeah but with <laughs> there's wow with the uh, the clarifying cards that leapt out here justice reversed page of pentacles six of pentacles six of swords and the ace of pentacles it's like with the four of pentacles to clarify your queen of wands it's like you're just tired of this is the breadcrumbing card right six of pentacles and you're tired of these pages if you're in your queen energy queen of hearts queen of wands if you're um in your queen energy it's like these pages are just even if they want to be giving you um what you deserve it's like you're moving to calmer waters because spirits got your back as far as this is concerned but you can only like commune with spirit right now at the moment anyways um in this way by six 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 moving the choice or taking the choice to walk away from breadcrumbing and go to calmer waters like you're just you're needing to explore your self-worth outside of the realm of like what it is you give to people and how it is you can manifest things for them. Um, I think you don't see the injustices um, maybe that you've kind of dealt with or the injustice of like not providing for yourself. This Knight of Cups love offer that was coming in with the garden party. I've got Eight of Cups here. You're walking away um, from whatever that was or is. Because you don't feel it does you justice. Even if it's making you sad, that's like actually um, bringing in this whole new material stability beginning for you. What is the Queen of Hearts for Scorpio, please? Six of Wands, victory. Lots of sixes, okay. Queen of Pentacles reverse, two of Wands coming out sideways. That's weird, okay. So we had the Queen of Pentacles reverse come out a couple of times. Um, once to clarify this King of Wands, building other people up. And then this two of wands, the man with the world in his hands, who like, even though he has everything he needs, he feels dissatisfied because he's failed to sort of commit himself to some, with the wands, like a, a higher energetic purpose. <clears throat> the queen of pentacles reversed is like, to clarify the queen of hearts reversed, um, I'm hearing it's you sacrificing the needs of your heart for the sake of stability. Um, so you're gaining victory over that cycle. Uh, let's see here. What is this Six of Wands victory for Scorpio? The fool. 
Yeah, like you're just, you're coming to the ending of like a major karmic cycle. Um, this came out in your reading the other day um, about integrating your shadow where all of the sort of inherited karma that you have or the like life paths, like dharma that you've been on in your multiple incarnations are like, basically the slate is wiped clean and you're, this fool is like a, I'm hearing like a tenfold fool, like with the Wheel of Fortune here. Like everything's new for you. And it probably required a lot of like cutting things out. That was uh, with also this Two of Wands sideways. It's like, I'm almost getting this sense that you could hold the whole world in your hands or you could have nothing and it would all be the same to you at this moment. You're sort of like in that gray area Um, with the Four of Pentacles. I'm also getting the, um, an image of the Four of Cups in my mind. Seven of Cups reversed. You've made some sort of choice here about what it is that you value. Ace of Swords reverse. It has to do with trust and some lie that you've been told. I think about your worth. Um, Possibly by people in your past. <clears throat> like every six in the deck is out. <laughs> Lots of sixes. So that might be a synchronicity that you're seeing right now. Um, victory. Judgment, resurrection, and the tower. It's your energy. So judgment is like when an ending becomes a resurrection. This full journey, it's almost like as soon as you let go of everything, it's all like resurrected tenfold. Um, I hear, I'm hearing you're letting go of the lie of some sort of like, this card is um, nostalgia and immaturity reversed. It's like unhealthy nostalgia and immaturity. You're making a judgment call to like bring this tower down, whatever it is. Even if this is like the foundation of what it is that you've been working on, this pentacle, you're bringing it down because you're a Scorpio and you're like, well, the truth matters more to me than my stability. Like, what's stability without truth, essentially? Um, it's Ten of Wands that came out to clarify before this whole situation, this karmic situation back here is being reversed because you're fighting for what you believe in. You're maturing out of fighting for connections that leave you heartbroken and um, with the Ace of Swords reverse, like lying to yourself. Um, with this Six of Cups reverse, I'm hearing like um, childhood neglect. Maybe you went through some stuff that left you feeling uh, like it was okay for people to set you aside um, or to, yeah, breadcrumb you with that six of pentacles that's in this lover's lineup here, this injustice and like moving away from socializing into money. Beware not to overcompensate for this, like 
healing through material gain and sensuality and stuff. Uh, this victory with this new beginning and this very clear decision um, is... It's bringing up some shadow stuff that you made a judgment call on and brought this tower moment or is bringing this tower moment for you. Um, with this Ten of Wands reversed about what might be a victim mentality or you might be realizing like you were actually a victim of something. Um, and this kind of lights a fire under, under you. You might be 55. 66, 46, 20 again. Um, the Empress. Three of Swords, reverse. You're turning this pattern that you've been through. into self-nurturing. The Empress is usually pregnant. Um, you might be birthing something new. You're certainly healing your heart chakra. You're, um, with the wheat here standing out to me right now, you're learning how to, like, nurture yourself in the 3D, which is what is coming through here. Um, but this comes as a result of A period of crying over spilled milk. What is this five of wands, five of cups? This might also be like you leaving other people behind. People who are fighting for you or wanting to pour their cups like into yours. What I like about the Five of Cups here, though, is, like, this is the Two of Cups, right? So what's right behind this person who's, like, moping about their situation, sorry, is the Two of Cups. Yeah, and then this one just wants to come out. Um, the Two of Cups is the lovers and death. Holy shit. Excuse my language. I'm so sorry. Um, so, <laughs> so you have... The Two of Swords, Death Reverse, Two of Cups Reverse, and the Ace of Cups to clarify, as I'm talking about the Two of Cups on this um, Five of Cups card and the Empress. You made a choice to put an end to romantic situations or a romantic situation or like maybe any involvement with romantic situations because you needed this new emotional beginning and you needed to like pour into yourself in 3d um what you don't see with this five of cups is that the two of cups is like directly behind you all you got to do is turn around but i'm getting the sense that you don't want to do that Because there's some new cup coming. Some new cup that overfloweth. Queen of Swords reverse. You might be lying to yourself a little bit. Um, about how much this hurts. Ace of Wands reverse. Three of Wands. Huh. With the 3-3 three, three here and the Ace of Wands, to clarify this 3 of Wands, Queen of Swords reverse, you're learning to soften your communication. This heartbreak initially made you kind of sharp or blunt or... Well, the Queen of Swords is usually, like, charismatic in her, in her ability to communicate, but, like, Queen of Swords reverse is somebody who is cutting and kind of mean and brutal, and it's because you've been through heartbreak you've been lied to um since you were 
a kid or like something has defeated your um, childlike joy. And it's like you're becoming this mother figure. You don't have to be um, male or female either. Like, and you don't have to have kids. Like, it's just you're becoming nurturing, loving, like this triple face sort of goddess. Um, she has, you know, the nurturing mother like qualities and also holds within her the child, um, which is clarifying the Six of Cups reverse. So, like, you've sort of internalized and nurtured your own inner child at this point. Um, and you're healing from those wounds. And this Ace of Wands reverse, like whatever was stealing your vitality before. Um, it becomes this Three of Wands. Like all you've got to do is wait. this new emotional beginning. I kind of want to know, like, it's so interesting that we have the lovers here and you're choosing, like, no, nah, I'm focusing on my security. And then we have the Two of Cups reversed, Death reversed, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, it's literally just because you've been pouring into other people's security and you've made the decision to, like, knock that off. But it goes against your nature somehow. It's like you've just met the wrong people up until this point. And you've just, like, poured your vital energy into, like, unjust situations. Because you have been lied to or you've been lying to yourself for so long. And it's like... You've made this judgment call. This tower has fallen. Um, you're learning to fight for yourself. Like, part of the burden you were carrying was just, like, not being able to stand up for yourself, it looks like. And, like, as soon as you do this and you sort of grieve from it, you turn around and the Two of Cups is there. You're in this Empress energy. And something about your communication being blunt and, like, maybe not so kind is actually bringing in good things for you. Maybe somebody just needed to hear it, like, whoever you were dealing with. If you're not this empress, then it was somebody in this empress energy who you were dealing with, like, communicated this to you. Huh. I'm gonna clean all of this up. And then we'll... A hanged man reverse. You're coming out of being unstuck because, yeah, this devil, king of swords. Interesting. Um, we're going to look at the mushroom hunter's tarot just to get a less chaotic spread. But I'm, I think because this is clarifying like a, like what appears to be a really large portion of your life, um, like a lot of years in your life. It was just sort of a lot of weird karmic baggage to cover. Um, I love that this Mushroom Hunter's Tarot has a spore print on the back. It looks like an eye, but it's one of the ways you identify mushrooms is the spore print. It's super cool. Um, Spirit wants to clarify with these two. Ace of Pentacles reversed and the King of Cups reversed. So we have the Ace of Pentacles here. King of Cups reverses you, Scorpio. These cards are so slippery. Oh, okay feeling a little stuck so this king of cups if it's not you it might be somebody else holding an ace of pentacles wanting to give it to you and feeling a little bit stuck um just as this is coming out i think this ace of pentacles is interesting too because there's this gate in the background with that garden uh, so that's reminding me of card 20 in the middle like reversed up there like 
Like, if this person's trying to give you something, Four of Swords, you're at rest right now. And it's like you didn't go somewhere or you, like, you didn't do something out socially. Like, you're not doing that. And this person's maybe waiting, like, with their cups. But you're like, oh, I'm recovering right now. Um, I want to read these cards because they talk about the specific qualities of these mushrooms, which is super cool. Um... This one wants to reveal itself. Aww. One more. One more spirit. Okay, I'm actually gonna draw the last one um, after we read these. So. This is your past, Ace of Pentacles reverse. It could very well just clarify, like you pouring your cups into other people's situations. This gateway, meaning other people. This um, pentacle, Ace of Pentacle. I think it's a white truffle. This King of Cups is like how other people see you. King of Cups reverse is like. <sighs> not giving of your emotions right now. Like you are not doing that. Four of Swords is usually rest, recovery. Um, laying on top of this like golden sword in like a, almost like a tomb state. Like you're presently in a place where you're sort of, I feel, I'm getting the sense that you're like solidifying your personality somehow. Like maybe you haven't had um, solidity in your, sorry, my ears itching because my hair is, it is really weird. Um, length right now um and then eight um i think this is a major arcana card it's not eight of pentacles this is the eight of pentacles okay eight of pentacles The musket truffle, winter black truffle. Though similar to and growing in the same areas as the famed Perigord truffle, see the 10 of pentacles, it is not quite as flavorful. While its commercial value is limited, it's still a quality truffle with a nutty musky aroma. Also pictured on this card is Legoto Romanolo, a dog bred specifically for truffle hunting. As truffles grow underground and out of sight, it often takes a carefully trained companion like this to find them. This is craftsmanship, commitment, concentration, and skill development. Ace of Pentacles reverse. I really love these cards. Um, Winter White Truffle, Piedmont Truffle. They're not quite as well known as the famed black truffles of Europe. The Piedmont White Truffle is the most expensive truffle in the world. Named for the region in Italy in which it's primarily found, this delicacy, delicacy sells anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 a pound. Just a few shavings at a restaurant can set you back hundreds. It's considered the most aromatic of the truffle species with a flavor among the most nuanced. The largest truffle in the world unearthed in 2014 was a winter white truffle. It weighed 1,786 grams, almost four pounds, and sold to a Taiwanese truffle enthusiast for $61,250. Uh, this is money, opportunities, new business, and abundance in reverse for you in the past. So it's like you've been giving out your truffle, <laughs> Scorpio, <laughs> in the past. <laughs> King of Cups reversed. Um, sorry. Where are the cups in here? Here we go. The King of Cups rejoices when he discovers the Violet Crown Cup. Though it's no longer considered an edible mushroom, as it tends to absorb arsenic from the soil, it still happily heralds the beginning of morel season. The violet crown cup is usually found during springtime in the mountains, often near patches of melting snow. It means balance, emotional stability, maturity, diplomacy, and sentimental wisdom. 
So you might be feeling a little bit emotionally imbalanced in the recent past. Um, immature, dealing with immaturity. Huh. I don't know. I think that you giving out your pentacles sort of like for free, according to that reading that was coming through here, like feeling breadcrumbed has like created this resentment um, that you've been dealing with in the past. And so you're recovering from this and you're recovering from this by, yeah, uh, just clarifying, doing the work, working on your pentacles, um, mastering your craft, hanging out with your dog, uh, Let's read the Four of Swords. I want to know what this mushroom is. The Four of Swords is Monk's Head. Do -do. This stately mushroom, common in Europe, is one of the few mushrooms able to endure the first frost of winter. Though edible and popular in Italy for its inclusion in stews and frittatas, the monk's head mushroom may easily be mistaken for Clitocybe aminolens, also known as the paralysis funnel. Yikes. What a perfect reminder that while it's important to take the time to rest and contemplate like a monk, be careful not to paralyze yourself in stagnation for too long. Rest, meditation, sanctuary, spiritual counseling. Yeah, so maybe presently you're in this space, but you're getting into this, like, doing the work. Maybe you've gotten a new job, um, a new pet or companion. Um, hmm, maybe you're spending more time outdoors, like, away from the town. Everybody, they're in the woods, so maybe you've got a new job that has you outside more. <sighs> what is the end result? Three of Wands reversed. So you're not waiting anymore. You're done waiting. <laughs> the Three of Wands was the end result of this other reading we had here. And this is like, you're like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. You doing the work is helping you move out of any space of feeling like there's something to be waiting for. Uh, which is, I think, a really good place to be. I feel like living your life in anticipation of something fulfilling instead of finding a way to be fulfilled can be really, um, I don't know. It's one of the best ways to like miss out on, on life. Right. So Turkey tail. The aptly named, uh, Turkey tail is a small polypore mushroom closely resembling the tail of a Turkey in both color and shape. It's hard not to stop and admire their colors when coming across a cluster growing on a log stump or tree. Adding to their beauty, older specimens may have concentric stripes of green due to algae that often grows on their surface. Turkey tail is believed to stimulate the immune system and can be dried and used in tea. Have you come across this mushroom on a hike? Break off a piece and use it as a natural chewing gum. Strength, effort, progress, expansion, reversed. Why is this reversed? That's so interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I'm hearing is that waiting for something is going to prevent you from making progress. Waiting for anything, like sitting, like sitting in this stagnation, this like recovery stagnation. Oh, there we go. Three of Swords reverse. Yeah, trying to like heal from heartbreak. The only way to get out of this heartbreak is Three of Swords reversed. is to um, move forward. How can Scorpios move forward? Oh, you know, this is your advice. So your advice might be to like, chill. <laughs> like, you don't have to be waiting for something, you know, you can be relaxed. Like, you don't have to work so hard to the future. Like, there's something to, to be doing. Like, mastery is in the moment, I'm hearing. Page of Wands, okay. The Hierophant reversed. And the Two of Wands reversed. That's interesting.
So this page of wands is um, enoki mushrooms. And uh, this card specifically mentions how this fairy has been cultivating her mushrooms because enoki mushrooms that are not cultivated look quite different than these. But these are like ramen mushrooms if you've ever had some really good ramen. Um, and her butterfly wings indicate like transformation and freedom. We're going to read this page of wands because it came out in your original spread also. And then we're going to end this reading out. Let us not forget that mythical beings are mushroom hunters too. When the page of wands hunts mushrooms, she doesn't limit herself to those just in the wild. She'll often forage from our personal stashes. Here she flies away with a bouquet of cultivated enoki. There's a large difference between the appearance of wild and cultivated varieties of this mushroom. While wild enoki mushrooms are distinguished by their larger reddish brown caps and thicker stems, cultivated enoki mushrooms are entirely white with thin stems and a much smaller cap. This mushroom remains one of the Page of Wands favorites as it's a perfect addition to a nice hot bowl of soup. Inspiration, adventure, new ideas, limitless potential. Free spirit. Hmm. So I think this Page of Wands is encouraging you to like know that whatever it is you've been trying to cultivate um king of swords reversed on the bottom it's like waiting for that to come from outside of you is what's been breaking your heart and you're learning to not look outside of you for this inspiration or this like enthusiasm like you're you're figuring out that hoping for something to come along and strike that match is like what's been breaking your heart this whole time and you have it in you already you've already cultivated it this is her cultivation right so your experience is transforming i think by yeah i don't know hanging out with your dog or like some sort of like loyalty also being able to know that something is there that's unseen um since these truffles are underground and through this rest and recovery um this is the Empress again. Nurturing yourself and your abundance. King of Swords reverse. Do, 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 do. I just got that song. Don't touch this or can't touch this. Stuck in my head. Done it. Done it. Can't touch this. <laughs> this is your your Empress energy right now, Scorpio. You're just like I'm not giving my trouble out to anybody. <laughs> you can't touch this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pink oyster. Oyster mushrooms are delicious, abundant, and easy to identify. Making them popular. Is that really what this is? Among mushroom hunters of all skill levels, this pink variety prefers warm and humid conditions and is most often found in tropical climates. I don't think this is what this is. Now I'm like quite, quite confused. Um, some of these are a little hard to identify. Yeah, I think that's what this is. I think that's sort of the point of this deck, right? It's just learning the mushrooms. Um, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I saw like a bit of a cough. Yeah, that's what this is. Um, they're immensely popular in central Mexico and the vast majority of locals are able to identify them. Not only are these mushrooms beautiful, bountiful, growing in large clusters and bouquets, but they're also easy to cultivate. Pink oyster mushroom kits are often sold at farmer's markets due to their striking beauty and ease of use. Over one pound of mushrooms can be harvested from a single growing block. Finding this mushroom is a call to embrace your feminine side. It asks you to reconnect with your senses and express yourself in new creative ways. Femininity, beauty, nurturing, cultivation, abundance, and sensuality. Sweet. You've made your choice. High priestess, follow your intuition. Nine of cups, yeah. That's where we're at. Um... I think this reading was really nice, Scorpio. Like, you're 
you're just being more discerning about where you put your energy, who you give your emotional energy to, and um, what it is that you believe is important. You're giving more um, credence to your intuition, and you're just learning to nurture yourself, um, which is super, super important, especially if you're moving on from that Two of Cups reverse, like weird childhood sort of trauma stuff um and transmuting it into like full-on self-nurturing so good for you scorpio that's awesome um i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did please ooh, like comment share subscribe and you can enter to win a free reading on 12 12 by just putting free reading in the comments you can book a personal with me on my etsy i only have three options available right now there's like a three card spread i think a, a celtic cross spread or something and then um five card spread um but usually i ended up doing more than what is ordered uh let's see what else oh you can donate on my cash app it's they they're linked in the description box below and then you can say hi to me on social media if you want my handle is there i only have one social media page that i usually go to it's tiktok so don't be scammed i don't sell my readings anywhere except etsy um Anyway, that's all. Thank you, Scorpios. Have a good day.